Well, Rosie O'Donnell's disgusting. I mean, both inside and out. You take a look at her, she's a slob. She talks like a, like a truck driver. Rosie attacked me personally because I was very happy when her talk show failed. The other thing that failed, and this was a real monster, and everybody was suing her, was her magazine. Her magazine called Rosie was a total disaster. So I loved it. I gloat over it. I think it's wonderful because I like to see bad people fail. Rosie failed. I'm happy about it. She's basically a disaster. Well, she called me a snake oil salesman. And, you know, coming from Rosie, that's pretty low because when you look at her and when you see the mind, the mind is, is weak. I don't see it. I don't get it. I never understood. How does she even get on television? I believe Barbara made a terrible mistake putting her on, and I think Barbara's probably paying a big price. If I were running The View, I'd fire Rosie. I mean, I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. I'd say, Rosie, you're fired. We're all a little chubby, but Rosie's just worse than most of us. But it's not the chubbiness. Rosie is a very unattractive person, both inside and out. Rosie's a person that's very lucky to have her girlfriend. Wait, the, for when he was elected, what I wrote on Twitter was, we should impose martial law till we make sure that the Russians weren't involved in the final tallies of the votes. And Bob Mueller has indicted 13 Russians for election meddling. And people were like, martial law, what's wrong with you? You're a lunatic. You're well, he wants to send the military to the border, so. I want to send the military to the White House to get him. Gene. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, so we got to talk about liberal Democrat, anti-Trumper, Rosie O'Donnell, who is somebody that I know mostly not from her acting career, but actually from being roasted by President Trump, especially during his campaign during 2015, 2016, okay? They were the golden moments of Trump's campaign, roasting the hell out of rosie o'donnell those are probably some of my favorite trump moments of all time okay really classic stuff i was dying laughing just watching that first clip that i posted in this video for you guys of trump just roasting rosie o'donnell <laughs> Right, this man is a savage dog he went straight savage on her but in this video we got to talk about rosie not because we're roasting her uh, we're actually doing the exact opposite, okay? We're actually going... I am. I don't know about you guys. But I'm going to give a little bit of credit here, okay? Because, you know, they say a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> so, uh, Rosie here is speaking something that is very rare to hear in our society. Uh, especially with the radical far-left gender agenda when it comes to that. Uh, she's speaking common sense, okay? And doing this podcast interview... Uh, she is going to talk about dealing with her daughter, as you guys know or may not know. Um, she is a foster and adoptive mother, okay? She has welcomed five adopted children since 1995, okay? She's also a grandmother. And she had a conversation, I'm assuming, with her daughter, uh, in which her daughter basically said that one of her dolls or stuffed animals or whatever was non binary. And Rosie had to have the talk, okay, which is apparently is, is a thing now for parents to have with their children about gender, okay? And uh, what she said was fascinating because you rarely hear this type of common sense, something that, again, used to be very common, not so common anymore, coming from leftist liberal Democrats, especially when it comes to this issue of gender ideology. Take a look. A community in a way that I hmm. think spawned this new generation of but it's my children even my 10 year old who corrects me on these things <laughs> that's right and it's so embarrassing and it's so <laughs> shaming that i'm this lesbian big star <laughs> icon gay something and my little 10 year old is going you know mom there are some kids in my class who don't really know their gender and i said well how could they not know their gender honey they go to the bathroom they're a boy or a girl <laughs> mommy that is not your gender that's your sex. Your gender is who you think you are. And I was like, okay, all right. Well, what are we doing? You know, and then she told me, she told me a long time ago at Christmas, she told me that her stuffed animals were non-binary. I'm like, here we go. Here we go. And I said, okay, well, what does that mean? She goes, they don't feel like a boy and they don't feel like a girl. I said, well, that's fantastic. Do you know what's funny is that I'm a girl. Who people used to call a tomboy because I liked all the boy stuff when I was little. And you know what's weird? Mm. I still do really like the boy stuff. I like football. I like riding a motorcycle. I like to do a lot of stuff that boys traditionally like to do. But you know what else? 
Never was confused about thinking if I was a boy or a girl. <laughs> Always knew I was a girl and loved being a girl. So you can be a girl and feel any way you want, or you can figure out what it what it is. And I'm like rambling and rambling. And she said, are you done? Are you done? I said, yes, I'm done. You know, I don't know what to do. It's, I was on the set of The L Word and this gorgeous African-American, 20-something, long braids woman walks by. Oh my God, Rosie, you have children. Yes, I do. I have five. Oh my God, I can't wait till I'm a dad. I said, Oh, yes, because parenting is fun. You know, I didn't know what to say. I'm 61, you know? <laughs> and I always feel like when people write me and say, you know, my father doesn't accept this. Okay, how long did it take you to figure it out? Right. Give your father a couple of months, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, so I think that Rosie's experience there is probably the experience that a lot of parents are having with their children, in which you have a child as young as 10, her 10-year-old is quite literally telling her that, hey, no, my stuffed animal, my toy is non-binary. Non-binary at 10 years old. And Rosie O'Donnell, <laughs> for as liberal as she is, and gay, right, as well too, she's a lesbian, she didn't know what that was, right? She's like, I don't know what that is. I don't, I, I have no clue what that is. Um, you're either a boy or, or a girl. And I think the remarkable thing that she said there, right, which honestly should not be remarkable in 2023, but it is something remarkable when a, a liberal leftist like Rosie O'Donnell says it, is that, well, you know, growing up, I was a girl that liked to do things that boys traditionally like to do. And I was called a tomboy, but... I'm a girl, right? And, you know, I'm happy to be a girl or whatever, but, you know, I, I, I do like things that boys traditionally like. And it's just funny because it's like, well, that's exactly what I said, right? About this whole thing when it comes to uh, girls who uh, like masculine things and people trying to automatically say, well, they're trans, right? They're trans because they like masculine things okay maybe they like the color i don't know blue or something like that they like playing with gi joe or whatever that automatically means that they're a boy and that's just not the case i mean society had this figured out a long time ago okay that's where the term tomboy came from okay the term tomboy is a term that is used to reference girls who like masculine things <laughs> right i mean it's really that simple but they've bastardized this idea of a girl that likes masculine things to make it mean that no 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 she must actually be a boy right <laughs> she is a boy born in the wrong body she's actually a boy which is ridiculous and they do the same thing for boys as well too okay i mean there are boys that you know grow up and they like feminine stuff and they might turn out to be gay right but that's it they're just they're just feminine boys and hey a lot of times they turn out to be gay. Doesn't mean they're actually girls, though. However, again, that's not what happened in our society. And we have parents who have took this to the extreme where they are straight up saying that, no, any sign that my young son or daughter, right, it could be as young as two, three, four years old, uh, likes things that are traditionally associated with the opposite sex, that must mean that they're trans. Okay, so first of all, I will say that the process, the journey is ongoing and probably will be for potentially her entire life. But here's how it started. So she was uh, designated, assigned, observed male at birth. And until about 18 months, didn't really, you know, know too much, just kind of was raising two kids, working full time, not really paying attention to what was going on. And at around 18 months, started she started showing signs of like really being interested in things that her sister had and had in her closet and wanting to play dress up and wanting to put on lip gloss. And when she would see fingernails, she would want her fingernails painted too. And, you know, we just, we thought it was cute. No issue. We had no issue with, you know, her wanting to do those kinds of things. Um, and then around the age of two, things started to progress at a quicker pace. And so each time that we would go to pick her up from preschool, she was fully outfitted in dresses and jewelry. 
And so I will say I was super stoked that we had such a wonderful child care center that she was in because she was allowed to, you know, experiment with her gender and play dress up and do those kinds of things and have access to them. So when I would go to pick her up from preschool, like I said, she would be dripping in, you know, just jewelry and clicky shoes and all kinds of stuff. And getting her to take that off to go home was usually a pretty gnarly struggle. Uh, And then around the age of four, she started wanting to wear like leggings and headbands. She had this one headband she was completely attached to that she felt, I, I look back on it now and think to myself, gosh, I wonder when she put that, that headband on, she thought to herself, people see me for who I am. No one's going to misgender me now. Um, and so it, it progressed. It just kept moving in that direction with more and more things that started showing more and more signs. Yeah, so as you seen there, I played that video on my channel before, this parent decided that, hey, my boy is actually a girl because they like to wear headbands, right, and leggings, okay? Uh, again, it's just, it's silly, right? It, it really is. It's so silly that even Rosie O'Donnell is not going along with it. it. It just goes to show you how insane some people on the left have become, how insane some of these parents have become in this country where they truly do believe that their child was born in the wrong body just because they showed the smallest signs that, hey, you know, I like things of the opposite sex. It's, it's, it's silly, right? It's ridiculous. But again, the most scary part here is the fact that a 10-year-old is learning about this stuff in school, okay? Because clearly Rosie O'Donnell is not teaching this stuff to her her daughter, right? Her daughter is learning about it in school and coming back home and then telling her mother about it. I would have been pissed at the school, right? I would be like, why are you talking about this type of stuff with kids in school? But again, apparently there are non-binary kids in school too, which is crazy, right? It it really blows my mind. (laughs) And this is why I am so afraid. I'm so afraid of bringing kids into this world. It's because of dealing with stuff like this. Again, that's a nightmare conversation, in my opinion, to have with a 10-year-old where you have to explain this stuff. uh, Because again, they're, they're being indoctrinated eight hours a day in school. It's crazy, man. It absolutely is crazy. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.